Turning now to a Utah runner who's making big strides, coming in first place at an ultra marathon. We're talking 250 miles long. New specialist Kara Bracken joins us now live. And Kara, uh, just getting ready and trying to train for that kind of an endurance run, that's got to take a lot of time. Yeah, it blows your mind, right? So he trains 50, excuse me, 70 miles. He's running every single week. Now this latest feat, Cocodona 250, that means he was running 250 miles. And that, while it's hard to wrap your head around, when you hear why he's running, it makes total sense. I actually grew up a little bit overweight. I came in last at all my track meets, and then I rode the bench in football. But when your sister challenges you to run a half marathon with her, you got to take it because who knows? You might just surprise yourself. I decided I wanted to train hard to walk onto the track team at Utah State, the college I was at. In the middle of training, he got into a skiing accident, breaking his back. Two rods, nine screws were put into my spine, um, my back area and the doctor told me I'd be in bed for quite a while. On top of that, losing his job and deferring his college classes for a full year brought him to a low. But a good runner knows something that's called a runner's high. I recovered a lot faster than what he said. I started running about three weeks after my surgery. Running 10 to 20 miles every day, he learned about longer distance races along the way, like Cocodona 250 in Arizona. The 250 meaning a 250 mile race in one go. Ran my hardest ever. He says for a 200 mile race, you're going to be out for over 48 hours minimum. So you have to take care of yourself. It's a lot of training and it does, it can weaken your immune system. From vitamins to nasal spray, sleep is a must. Even though usually he says he pushes through the entire first night of running. This race though, he took a nap. Then I woke up and my crew told me that I was about 10 hours behind first place, which I've never been that far back before. Somewhere between 62nd and 75th place is how far back I got. This wasn't just any nap though, this was a power nap. It was basically a marathon to go when I caught him. And so it took like 130 or 40 miles to catch him. <laughs> but uh, yeah, you know, once I caught him, I ended up getting the course record too. He'll tell you he's lacing up for more than the stats though, making every step count. When you're put in a situation where you don't know if you're gonna walk again, that situation kind of almost forces you to like, just want to just do everything and anything that you never know what's gonna happen. So for me, it's just kind of like, a, my body can do it right now. So I wanna keep doing it until I can't do it anymore. Now to give you an idea of how far that 250 miles is. So from here in Salt Lake City, where the KSL station is, that's like running from here to Cedar City. So that's an idea. He said that for that race in itself, it said it took around uh, 69 hours. So that's just shy of three days. As far as those new runners out there, those aspiring to run, committing and staying consistent. Those are two key things, guys. Wow. I mean, that's like an ultra Ragnar relay without the relay. There's nobody else to help you out. It's just, it's just him. Kara, thank you so much. What a story.